Hi, Paul here uh, with Harry, and today we are in the shop. It's, uh, it's a particularly horrible, nasty day outside, and we're going to be talking to you today about the RAB Alpine Pro sleeping bag range, and we didn't think it was sensible to drag them out into the rain and get them all soggy and wet, so uh, we're upstairs in the shop in Hereford. So, uh, the Alpine Pro sleeping bags from RAB, what are they? Well, they're a new addition to RAB's range, and they kind of sit in between uh, the Ascent bags and the Neutrino Pro bags. So they offer kind of the good value for money, function, reliability of the Ascent bags, but with some of the more technical features that you would find on the Neutrino. So they're ideal for those people who want a, a good performance, lightweight bag that's going to offer good weather resistance thanks to the Quantum Pro fabric. But, you know, not paying sort of optimum prices to get that uber lightweight, uber techie bag. So they kind of sit in the middle for those people who are maybe not super regular users going out every weekend, but somebody who just wants a good, lightweight, warm, duck down insulated bag uh, for sort of kind of UK three to four season use. Uh, they're filled with a 650 fill power European duck down, so it's a good high quality filling, but we'll talk more about the, the sort of technical aspects of the bag a bit later. So this is the RAB Alpine Pro. This is the Alpine Pro 400. There's a whole range of bags within the Alpine Pro range with different fill weights and different lengths to suit taller users. Um, but we'll, again, we'll put the links up at the end of the video so you can explore the whole range. Okay, so what's the, what's the Alpine Pro bag made out of? Uh, well, let's start with the most important bit, the insulation, the filling in this bag, the stuff that's gonna keep you warm. So inside this sleeping bag, Rab have stuffed it full of 650 fill power, RDS certified hydrophobic European duck dam. And that's quite a mouthful. It's taken me a little few cuts here, as Harry will testify to get all that out in a wanna. But basically, let's break that down. So 650 fill power, for those of you who aren't familiar, fill power is a measurement of the down's ability to loft. And loft basically means to expand, fluff out, fill the space that it's in. Uh, and that is the down's natural ability to insulate. So when the down is all fluffy and light and airy and open and trapping air, that's how it works. When it's all compressed and squashed, it doesn't work. So 650 fill power basically refers to one ounce of down filling up 650 cubic inches of space, which is about 14 to 15 litres, if you're used to sort of rucksack capacities. Uh, so that's what it's filled with. Uh, RDS is the responsible down standard that RAB uh, sign up to. That just ensures that the down is all ethically sourced from happy ducks or geese, depending on uh, which birds they're plucking them from. Uh, hydrophobic. So each, each and every cluster of down is treated with a Niquax hydrophobic water repellent treatment before it goes into the bag. And that basically just ensures that the down uh, absorbs less moisture, can dry quicker, uh, and just maintains the sort of the maximum warmth of the bag in slightly damp conditions. It doesn't make it waterproof, but it does enhance the down's ability to dry and to resist moisture better. Um, and uh, European duck down, it's, it's, it's about the best quality down. Rab only use high quality duck or goose down, uh, so you can be assured of good performance for the life of the bag. Surrounding all that down, on the outside of the bag, uh, Rab have used the ever-reliable Pertex Quantum Pro. I mean, Rab have been working with Pertex practically since day one. It's, it's a really good partnership between the two companies, and they uh, have helped Pertex develop fabrics through the years. So you can be, um, you, you know, you can be reassured that it's a really good quality fabric on the outside of here. Quantum Pro um, is uh, basically the more water resistant of the uh, Pertex range. On the back of the kind of uh, lightweight nylon fabric uh, is a very, very light PU coating. They call it a kiss, a little mwah of, per, of PU on the back of the fabric. And that just makes the fabric a lot more water resistant just in case you get, well, condensation inside your tent, you chuck your cup of coffee over yourself in the morning when you're getting up, it will just roll off and be less likely to soak into the down to keep that down lofted and dry, working to its absolute maximum. On the inside, Rab have used a lightweight nylon just to uh, give you a little bit more comfort on the inside and make it a lot more breathable. Uh, and just it's much softer, it makes the bag feel really nice. You, you get inside these lovely down bags, it's like, getting inside a, a warm little 
cushion cloud of deliciousness. Right, let's talk about the construction. So uh, to make sure you get the, the maximum performance out of the bag, the down is held in uh, sort of chambers. So like, like these tubes that you can see across the bag here. And they're not just, you know, randomly chucked in. Um, you know, they, they don't get all the down that they got for the super mag, just randomly fill it out. They do, um, you know, use specific weighted uh, amounts of down for each baffle. And these baffles are actually trapezoidal. I think I've said that right. So they are slightly wider at the base than they are at the top. And that forces the down closer to your body so that you're getting that maximum warmth and really optimizing the baffle shape to make sure that the down can loft nicely and retain the warmth close to your body. Another unique construction technique that RAB use is something called proportionally designed differential cut. Easy for me to say. That basically means that the inner and the outer of the bag, so the, the grey fabric here and the blue fabric here, that's the inner fabric, outer fabric, uh, will vary according to the fill power of the bag. So they don't just use the same shell and the same inner for every bag in a range. So if you've got a bag in a range that's got, say, 650 fill power, and you've got another bag which has got 800 fill power and more down in it, the outer of the bag, the 800 fill power, will be bigger than the outer of the bag that's 600 fill power. It just makes sense. You need more room between the inner and the outer for that down to loft and expand in a heavier fill power bag than you do in a lighter weight fill power bag. So you can tell that Rabba you know, really thought about the construction and the design of their bags and they've really optimized the design to ensure that the down can perform to its absolute maximum irrespective of whether it's a 650 or an 800 fill power bag. You know, clever people, you know, they've been doing it a long time and they've got it absolutely nailed. Okay, so what are the main features? Well, to be honest, you know, you don't get a massive amount of features uh, in a sleeping bag. The thing that you, you, you need uh, is the important stuff that we talked about earlier, the construction and the baffle design, etc., etc. But there are some fundamental things that uh, just help to keep you comfortable. You've got a really nice sort of 3D shaped hood here so you can get your head wrapped up in there. It's quite a common mistake people make when they're camping and they, they feel cold is they don't put the hood up. It's really important. You lose a lot of uh, heat at the top of your head, especially like me if you're a little bit follically challenged. Uh, so always use the hood and it's got a nice draw cord here so you can pull that in nice and tight. Make sure that the warmth that you've created inside the bag doesn't escape. And also to help with that is you've got this 3D internal collar on the inside which sits around over the top of your shoulders. It's kind of like pulling the duvet around your shoulders when you're cold in bed. Again, it just helps to seal that warmth on the inside. And then down the side here, you've got a, a three quarter length uh, zip with a little uh, reflective toggle here. So you can find the toggle in the dark. And th the whole point of a three quarter zip is just to keep the weight to an absolute minimum and to help with the pack size. So this is the three quarter length zip. As you can see, it's all the way down to here. And then you've also got to pull up the other end, so if you need to ventilate the foot section whilst you're in there, you can just open that up from the bottom. And then behind the zip here, to protect the cold coming through the zip, you've got this fully insulated baffle here, which just sits behind the zip. So when you do it up, it forms a lovely seal to stop the cold getting through the zip. And then right down at the bottom, uh, you've got a, uh, a, an angled foot box. Um, a bit difficult to see there, but basically you've got an angle in the foot box there. And that means that when your feet are upright in the bottom of the bag, they're not compressing the down and your feet can be in a natural position. Nobody likes cold feet when they're sleeping. So it just gives you a little bit more room around the bottom and allows the down to really fully loft around your feet to keep that sensitive area nice and warm. So the Rab Alpine sleeping bag comes with two uh, stuff or storage sacks. This is the storage sack. So as the name implies, this is the best way to store your sleeping bag when you're not using it. Uh, so it's stored loosely inside this breathable cotton bag, so simple draw cord bag, and it just allows the down to maintain most of its loft without being compressed. What you don't want to do is store your sleeping bag compressed, stuffed into a tight little stuff sack. That's only for when you're moving it around in your pack, etc. So store it like this, store it in a wardrobe, store it somewhere nice and dry, uh, and that will maintain the loft and the performance of the bag for many years. So it also comes 
in a stuff sack. So I'll just swap them over and I'll show you how small it packs down to. So with a little bit of magic. And here it is in its stuff sack. So this is a waterproof, it's a coated and tape seamed stuff sack, like a, you know, like, like a, a, a fold dry bag from Exped. Uh, and that is designed to keep the bag dry and compressed as easily fit into your rucksack. Uh, and as the name implies, it's a stuff sack. So the best way to get the sleeping bag into here is to start at the foot and then just simply ram it in a handful at a time, randomly stuff it in. Don't fold it and roll it because that creates cold spots and creases down the insulation. So literally just grab a handful and ram it in. So how does this Alpine Pro fit? Well, they've used their, what they call their mummy taper fit, which uh, as the name implies, it's a mummy shape and it's been tapered to really maximize the, the warmth and the insulation of the bag. So it's designed to be close fitting to your body, wider at the shoulders, tapers in and at the waist and then narrow down through the legs. So the bag moves with you if you're rolling around in the night and you want as much of that down as close to your body as possible to maximize the efficiency of the sleeping bag. What you don't want is a lot of dead air space inside the bag because that's just inefficient and you'll be cold. So uh, it is close fitting. It is designed to be close fitting. If you want a roomier bag or if you're a bigger person and you need a little bit more room in a bag, check out the Ascent range. Uh, but for maximum performance, this uses the Mummy Taper Fit. Okay, fit wise, uh, I am six foot three and this is a regular size bag and I can just get in it. Uh, to be honest, it's a little bit of a squeeze. My feet are right against the bottom and my head's right up into the hood. So for me personally, I would have a long size bag. Uh, but for anybody who's uh, around kind of 5'11", 6 foot and below, that would be fine. Okay, so that's it. That's the, 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 the new RAB Alpine Pro sleeping bag. This is the 400 sleeping bag. Uh, and it's really designed for those users who want kind of, uh, you know, don't want to spend a fortune on a super tech, techie bag, but want a bag that will perform well in mountain uh, and extreme conditions that will repel water and will keep you nice and warm whilst being a sensible weight. So, uh, you know, for your kind of active mountain user, it's a really, really reliable and high performance bag. OK, thanks for watching. Uh, as usual, if you like our content and you want to keep up to date with all the latest product videos that we produce, feel free to hit the subscri subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, please pop them in the section below. It's always good to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.